Hey everybody, it's Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness and I am laying on the floor right now because this is the only place that I could put the iPad because I'm going to show you a some tips on how to do a one arm row and the reason why I wanted to do this is because I saw a trainer who is supposed to be a really good trainer at one of these places, it was a, a gym and I was kind of freaking out because the lady that was doing the form, and I'm going to show you how it was not right, um, her form was so awful, I was afraid she was going to hurt her back. So just be careful on who you are working with. Make sure you check out their credentials um, and make sure you are, you know, working with somebody that has a background in form and just didn't go online and you know bam became a trainer so before i get into that i wanted to let you know that i have a brand new program called turn your life around you can find out about it when you go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call c-a-l-l and just click on the button that says request a phone consult with me and it'll take you to a page and there's a form there and you can just fill it out all right so I'm gonna walk over there because this is live and I'm gonna walk over and I'm gonna show you, hopefully you can hear me so I'm gonna talk loud, but I'm gonna show you how not to do a one arm row and then I'm gonna show you how to do a one arm row with good form. So hang on. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me. Um, if anybody is out there and you can hear me, can you please say you can hear me in the comment section? <laughs> So this is how the person was doing them um, with supervision with another trainer. Their back was all rounded. They had a dumbbell and they were doing this. That is so bad for your back. When you do a one arm row, the reason why you're doing it on the bench is so you can support your body while you're lifting heavy weights. So you wanna make sure that you are on a sturdy bench and you're gonna place your hand right underneath your shoulder and this part of your back, you should have a slight natural arch, okay? You never wanna do anything like this. That's bad form. So you wanna make sure your abs are pulled in, right? Belly button to spine. And then when you go to pick up the dumbbell, you don't wanna do this, right? Because then you're putting a lot of pressure on your back as soon as you lift up that dumbbell. And for all you ladies out there, you better ditch those five pound dumbbells because they are not gonna do anything for you. So, um, when you go to pick up your weight, you want to kind of squat down, try and keep your back as flat as possible, and then pick up your dumbbell. Now, if the dumbbell is not on the floor, you can always place the dumbbell on the bench and then just pick it up this way. So you want to make sure you have a flat back, belly button to spine, the dumbbell is resting straight off your shoulder. You want to kind of distract your shoulder a little bit. So in other words, you don't want it here, you want to kind of pull it, let it go a little bit. Um, also, don't lock out your elbow, keep it slightly bent. Then you're gonna pull up and squeeze, and then slowly lower. Pull up and squeeze and lower. Same thing when you're putting the weight down, you can drop it if you want, but make sure you squat down so you're not doing this and putting the dumbbell down. Now, some of the things I see are the key point to this movement is you wanna get it here, but you wanna pull that shoulder back, right? So this is fine, because you are working those back muscles, right? This is a back exercise. But you want to open that shoulder up. So you want that squeeze part. So you're trying to bring your shoulder blades together as you pull up. What you will see in most gyms sometimes is this. That movement. That is not, you are working your torso, right? So nice and controlled and slow when you pull up that dumbbell and then lower. Make sure you never lock out your joints. You always wanna have them nice and soft. Or not soft, but like not locked out, but slightly, slightly bent. Um, so that's pretty much it for the one arm row. Ladies out there, do not lift up five pound dumbbells. If you are really brand new, you can start with five pounds. Um, I hope everybody can hear me. But um, if you're brand new, you can, you can start out with five pounds but um, you're gonna progress really quickly. So that dumbbell I picked up was a 20 pound dumbbell. That is pretty light for me. Um, usually I'm doing 40 pound dumbbells, which again is, it, depending on who you talk to, that seems like a lot, and then there's other people that they're like, oh, I can do much more. 
again, if you watched my video earlier, <laughs> do not compare yourself to anybody else. Do what you can do. So if you want to incorporate that into a workout program, start off doing like three sets of 15. If you really want help, I could put a program together for you. Definitely check out my new program called Turn Your Life Around in Six. I am giving you all the tools that you need to succeed in those six weeks along with my help and guidance. So check it out. Head over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L, -L, and jump on a phone call with me and I'll be happy to help you out. All right, so that's it for me right now. Have a wonderful day, and you might see me later on today. I'm not sure. So take care. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section, and I will be happy to answer them. All right, take care. Bye.